Okay, good morning. I was afraid to upload videos that I felt like God was telling me to upload. This weird buffering has been going through my phone like constantly and the phone is hot, which I've learned is an indication of somebody tapping into my phone. Um, thanks to Philosophical, I started resetting my network settings and um, seems like they still got in the phone, so I don't know how that was. Um, I have decided when I go out into the world to record, so I have to buy several of these 128 gigabyte um, SD cards so that I can switch them out. And I take little snippets and upload to help answer my own questions. I see people out in the world and I am wondering if they are gang stalkers, if they're following me. One of the things I notice is that I will be somewhere and there will be a person there creating um, like an argument or fighting with staff. And it happened so frequently I started to wonder or maybe God gave me the thought they're trying to put people in your realm to create discord so that they can say you're crazy and try to get you committed. So I said, you know what? This is the second time I've been confronted with this. People trying to make me be crazy. So I said, I'm just going to empty myself out and look at myself and empty myself out before the world and let them look at me and then we can determine if I'm crazy or not. So this is a part of that process. Um, it's not intended to hurt anyone. So if I have to talk about you because we've had interactions, it's just because I want to know if you're being honest with me or if you're yanking my chain. There's been a lot of gaslighting and lying and deception going on in my world by people who said they cared about me. And they were straight lying to me, setting me up, trying to get me killed, etc. So this is my morning ritual. I realize I'm awake and I clap my hands, which I have cat food in my hands right now. My children rescued a little um, baby cat that was too small to be away from the mom. So we had to buy infant formula for the cat. And now um, he's big enough to actually eat the crunchy food so I was making sure he got fed and my daughter fed him water from a bottle okay so I clap my hands and I say thank you that I'm still alive and then I say I call back my energy I call back my children's energy I cut cords for myself I cut cords for my children I dig up the roots of the cores. I burned them and sprinkled the ashes into the ocean as an offering to, I think it's Oshun that likes water. Then I say I call back all my wealth. I call back all my children's wealth. I call back all my ancestors' wealth back to the 1800s to be delivered to me, Aileen Dorothea Atkins complete without harm with glee I repair my aura I repair my children's aura call back all of our energies from any energy harvesting I put us in a protective bubble of light then I stop and think if there's anything else I need to say I thank my ancestors, I thank the Orishas, I thank the Meadow Nutters, I thank the angels that have been protecting me, providing me with good information and help. Last night, I wanted a soda so bad. When I get stressed, I resort back to my bad habits, which are salt and white sugar in the form of soda because of the caffeine primarily. 
I used to work two shifts and I um, needed the caffeine to keep me going. Very unhealthy. And I have about six inches of belly fat, I believe, from those sodas. So I know my pancreas is thankful that I backed up off of them. So last night, in order to get over my craving for a soda, I ate two or three boxes of raisins and drank some water after dinner, and that got me to go to sleep. So I'm really thankful that I am standing up to some of my addictions. I don't drink, don't smoke, don't do drugs, um, not sexually active, and um, doing a lot of thinking, which is extremely exhausting. And because I have been convinced that somebody's trying to take my life, um, whether it's real or imagined, if you've ever been in this position, it affects how you think, how you move. So yesterday I planned to get up and go out of the house and take some of my um, wares left over from the flea market because our flea market closed. Funland, the drive-in is no more and the um, flea market is also gone. But um, there's other flea markets in the area. But because my car is down, well, my tag is gone and I may not have insurance and the police took my license and my tag. So it's hard to get to and I don't really have friends. Um, so I was going to go out into the world and just sell some things to replace my daughter's phone. She dropped it and her birthday is May 26th. She's trying to plan a birthday party with no phone. So she was really angry yesterday. And I was thinking, I done told this girl these people are trying to kill me. And she was talking about a phone. But I was able to put myself in a almost 18-year-old's mind. 18 is a big deal. So it should be a big birthday party. And I'm laying here with no money to even buy a card, let alone a present or help her with her birthday party. But she did call her adopted dad, my brother, to ask him for money for a party. According to my sister, he's lying, saying he doesn't get checks. If he doesn't get checks, I don't know who gets them. He um, was getting checks, so if they move the checks from him to someone else, then that person needs to get my twins some money so that they can, you know, celebrate their 18th birthday. A moon wants a gaming system. And so I'm praying and going out into the world and asking people to help me provide a great birthday for them so call back all of my energy cut cords I'll get up and take a bath and put some salt in it and try to cleanse my aura the floor is a mess it needs to be mopped um, where my car was parked it got rid of the grass so there's sand and the children just track, track it in and out they don't even try to wipe their feet on the rug but because I believe they too are under heavy spell work, I don't fuss, I don't argue, I just try to make things comfortable and help us all be successful to live, to see another day. And it's going to improve, and as it improves, we will improve, the environment will improve. Um, don't want to make this long. I really feel it necessary to record the realities of um, spell work. When people are manipulating your energy, taking your energy, you look at family members and you think, wow, they're so successful. But really, they're successful off of your back. They've been using your energy to be successful. When my grandmother, Irene Scarborough, died, um, it's like the scales were removed from my eyes. And I really think my grandmother was pulling energy from me and for some reason I guess the way she treated me surrounding my twins birth I had one child and several abortions as not to have other children I prayed for twins I was at the abortion clinic when I found out I was pregnant with twins alternatives right across from Hillsboro High School on Central Avenue in Tampa and for some reason, the lady said, I don't know if this is going to make a difference, but you're pregnant with twins. And I canceled the abortion. So they will be 18 in 
two days, one day, and um, they haven't had the involvement of their birth father, who um, was going to pay for the abortion. He might have been married, even though he didn't share that with me. Um, it was a two-week period between two men that I slept with, breaking up with one, was sleeping with him regularly. Phenomenal guy that turned me on to a lot of um, new age information, meditation, yoga, um, vegetarianism, uh, etc. And then the other guy was just a tall, handsome hunk. So I didn't want to go back to being sexually active with the one I broke up with. So in order to cut that soul tie, I called the nice hunk and said, Hey, if you're not married or involved, come see me. And I think he was married. He didn't tell me that, but I think he was. And so, big mess. I don't want to make it long, so I'm going to cut it here. And just thank the creator for life. Thank the creator for the confusion. Thank the creator for the suffering that I'm going through. It's pushed me and forced me to be brutally honest and share information that I would otherwise try to hide because of shame. But I don't have the energy to really try to be ashamed anymore. So this is my life. I'm thankful for it.